My name is Don Alexander, and I am the writer of Shackles of a Free Man, the untold story of Lewis Sheridan Leary. Well, I found Lewis Leary by accident. I was doing research um, for a project that I was writing, and one of the characters was involved in an event called the Raid at Harper's Ferry. And so during my research, I came upon this picture and I was like, oh, wow. And I noticed it said 24 years old, Louis Leary. And I uh, looked at it and I go, wow, I, he looks like me. It's a weird feeling. Years later, I uh, run into Louis Leary again, doing some research. And I decided to look him up and do a deep dive into his life. And lo and behold, I found out that this man was born March 17th, 1835. Now, strange thing about me, I was born March 17th, which so happens to be St. Patrick's Day. I was born March 17th, 1985. And uh, yeah, something compelled me to write about this man and tell his story. A story set in 1850s, a little known part. We don't really explore that much in American history, but what he was a part of was responsible for spearheading the country into what we know as the Civil War that ultimately ended slavery altogether in this country. And, uh, and like I said, I was inspired. And I sat there and I wrote. And, uh, and one of my missions was in writing about this man was I wanted to keep it the most, I, I, had, to, I had to do so much research because I, was, I wanted to make it authentic. But most of all, I needed to pay my respect to him and respect the environment and respect the people that he rubbed shoulders with. And I hope I did that. Um, a writer can only hope they have accomplished what they set out to do. All I can do is hope that you're inspired, that you can take a deep breath and go, wow, this person actually lived And this person had a legacy, had an impact. I felt kind of sad that he had been forgotten through history. Though he was in part of this event, and this event is taught in schools, the Raiden Harper's Ferry, led by John Brown, I think the men involved kind of faded away through time. And so when I looked at Lewis Leary, Seeing some similarities between us and knowing we share the same birthday, just 150 years apart. I had felt time had forgot him. I had forgotten about him. And I, and I, and I took it upon myself to reintroduce the world to who this man was. Because I don't think anybody like him should ever be forgotten. I'm looking forward to sharing that part of history with you. And whatever you have going on in your lives, I hope this little piece of literature can motivate, inspire, but also break the shackles that you may have.